Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Fable 3. Alrighty, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we were doing murdering for this guy, for fun, and apparently trying to get into the dark sanctum he's currently sitting in front of. Mainly fun, then, really, because it didn't actually open anything. So, um... We're going to go over to where he is right now and hopefully get something out of this. I was about to drink my coffee, then I realized it's still way too fucking hot. Okay. So now we're going to head over to him. Still standing at the dark sanctum because of course he is. Ah. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Look. Do I really deserve the term miscreant? I killed someone for you. Oh, I see. Tasty? Tasty? <laughs> okay. Could you could you stop being staticky? Uh, still not really got that right. Anyway, uh, yeah, a little bit. It? Well, who knows what sinister knowledge and monstrous secrets lie within? Who knows uh -huh. what evil recipes, uh, what evil powers uh, wait to be uncovered? Eh? Yeah, uh, evil recipes. But unfortunately, the entrance is blocked by all this rubble, and I can't clear it on my own. Would you be able Are you to sure? the cost of excavating it? I need quite a bit of gold for the tools and labor. All in a good cause. Well, evil cause, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little better. Sure, I'll give you 5,000 gold. That's a pittance compared to what I currently have. The excavation of the Dark Sanctum has begun thanks to your generous donation. Who knows where it might lead? Perhaps you should come back soon to find out. Not like I have a choice. Five. You will. Oop. Oh, excellent. Well, I shall arrange for the workers immediately. This could be the start of something special, my friend. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh huh. Some of your. Finally, the temple will be uncovered. What powers, what secrets shall be mine? Uh, I mean, ours. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> Although some of your slips are making me wonder there, but, um, are these the laborers? I guess they must be. All right. Well, there's another quest nearby with a couple of old friends. Whoops. Did not mean to go that way. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Uh, well... <laughs> Who may Maybe I concerned. The Swift Brigade, after a long and hard fought battle against the hordes of hollow men, whose presence infected this valley, hereby withdraw from Morningwood Fort. Oh. Should our victory against the abominable plague of undead soldiers prove only temporary, you will find a functioning mortar and the necessary ammunition with which to utilize it against the zombie hordes. Oh. May you not die a horrible death. Signed, Major Swift. Alrighty. So from the look of it, the portal actually opened. It was just after, long after I did the murdering. And then went home to plow my uh, psychopath wife. Fun. Fun. So fun. To be uh, indulging in the evil within me, I guess. Anyway. Um, anywho, let us go on and uh, go help I guess whoever's at the fort. It's like, I swear I saw someone. What is that? Okay, that's just a that's just a lamppost. Okay. 
Okay. Read. Oh. Oh. Private Jammy had third. Ben had second. Swift had fucking first, of course. All right. Well. Huh. This is just a mini game. Minigame leaderboard thing. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I will, however, try and find that quest that I was going to do. Okay, Morningwood. Unfortunate name. And there they are. Max and Sam. Max and Sam are dead and bored. They want you to acquire an ancient tome possessing phenomenal supernatural power. Is it the same tome that they fucked with us in two with multiple times? Hmm? I have a feeling it might be. Anyway, let's go help them. Since, well, it gives us seals. And it's not like we have any choice in the matter of where we get seals. You said this cemetery would be loads of fun, and now it's obvious you were talking bollocks. Perhaps you'd like it back with Mum. Anyway, how was I to know a cemetery would have no ghosts in it? You know what we need? The book. <laughs> Sam? That's brilliant! The book! Go get it! I'm not getting it. Trundle all the way back there, just to have to face her. I'd rather die. Again. Okay. I wish you would. Again. Oh, very mature. Maturity is exactly the problem. Everyone here is well past their use-by date. That's why we need the book. The only thing worse than the walking dead is the lying around not doing anything interesting dead. And that book owes us after the last two disasters. Third time lucky, eh? That's right. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It's not like I could get trapped down a well this time. I'm fairly certain I could come up with a way. Oh, very mature. Okay, so it's just going to reload. Well, I'm not getting it. Have Livy here get it. Who? Oh, right. Uh, what about it? We'd really be ever so grateful. Uh-huh. This is no ordinary book. It's the Normanomicon. It can summon the dead. Right. Well, that makes it sound so insidious. We don't want to do anything diabolical with the dead. We just want someone to have a chat with. Uh-huh. <sighs> sure. You. Why couldn't you have thought of the book before we left? Ah, genius. Problem solved. Right. Now, the thing is, the book is in Millfields. Okay. Our mum's got it. She always said she'd take it to her grave. Which she did. Okay. You'll have that book over my dead body, she used to say. Which was eerily prescient. Yeah, a little so bit. All you have to do is dig it up. You want me to what? You want me to what? Mum's grave is in Millfields. Alright. Gonna head to Millfields then, I guess. Oh joy. If it's not some just light murdering of folks, it's fucking grave robbing. I just can't escape the evil now, can I? Uh, I always have to do something, don't I? Oh uh, boy. Well, here's hoping this gives me all the seals I need. Alright, so, keep following the path this way. And hopefully... Hopefully we get what we need. Alright. Quite a long walk to Millfields. Then again, that kind of makes sense. Awakening? What? Awakening? 
Oh! Leslie's excavation is on hold until someone takes care of a dangerous infestation in the Dark Sanctum. Well then! I... Oh jeez. That owl was very... Very staticky. Yeesh. Well, I guess I can go into that if this doesn't give me all the seals I need. Which it should. Because, I mean, you know. Oh, great. They cleaned up the dead bodies that I contributed to. Good. Oh. That, that's them doing the graves, I guess? I don't know. Bowerstone uh, Industrial. Really, I have to go through Bowerstone Industrial to get there? Yeesh. All right. Well, I guess if I have no choice... And it just struck me what that kid on the right in that load screen was eating. It looked like a chocolate-covered rat. And by that I mean it was literal rat with a fork in it covered in chocolate with the hair and the feet and all the rest of it still in there. Ew. That's gross. Oh. Treasure, where? Oh! Hey! I can open this now. Fuck yeah. What do we got? Whoa! That is a lot of gold. <laughs> oh, very nice. Okay, so. Let us continue to eventually reach Millfields. Oh, you might have noticed a little bit, but uh, just in case it isn't clear, I own all the buildings in Industrial now. I bought them up after the uh, last uh, little thing. Where I uh, broke up a couple who were engaged. Because that's the kind of person I am, clearly. <laughs> Just an evil asshole. Bowerstone Market. Oh, I haven't been through Bowerstone Market yet. Cool. I've said it before and I'll say it again. I hate you. Well, I mean, you can say that all you want, but you're going to be dead in about five seconds. It's like comparing Ooh. mud to suet. Ew. Okay, so a mercenary right leg tattoo. Something I'm we never going to wear. Friends. If I like people with an ass for a face. Yeah, about that. Uh, time to get rid of you. There we are. Good. Oh, I can return to Brian because I've hit 10 now. Cool. Cool, good to know. 10 out of the 40. I forgot it was the uh, money given to the wife that was being taken out. Fair enough. A picture. Nice. Well, since I've passed through the uh, market, I should be able to buy some of the houses there. That'll be off camera on my time <laughs> that I'll do that, but... Ooh, we gonna have so much money. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Anyway. Alright. Ooh, we got the Millfields Demon Door here. Somewhere. In here. Alright, well. I guess we gotta go a grave robberin'. Yes, I pronounced it like that on purpose. Don't don't ask questions that you don't want to know the answer to. Which is I'm stupid. That is the answer. 
All right, so. I oh. sensed your presence before you even arrived. What did you eat? <laughs> okay, that was that was kind of. Funny. But you're also dead, so. Oh, it was fifty, not forty. Whoops, <laughs> I miscounted. Also, is that another one? No, those are just mushrooms. Okay. Oh, doggy found a dig spot. Where are you going? Where are you going, doggo? Well, well, come on! There's ways to jump over the fence. There you go. And now you're phased into a rock. Just one of your doggy powers, I guess. All right. What we got? Ooh, a dig spot. Come on. See if my coffee's still too hot. Yes, very, very still too hot. I can see steam coming off of it. It's too hot. Oh, that's an adorable doggo. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, I guess her grave is right next to this big ass tree here. Huh. Well, a couple big ass trees if you count that one too. Yeesh. That's a rather scenic overlook. Uh, I'm assuming these are their gravestones. Here lies Elizabeth Spade at peace. Addendum. Now her sons have joined her. The above, <laughs> above inscription is what? No longer accurate. Ah, <laughs> uh, very true. Here lies Sam Spade. This is all Max's fault. Here lies Max Spade. I had it all under control, then Sam cocked it up. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, there's treasure in there, too. Huh. The Norman Omicon. This ancient tone emits a cold aura and appears to be bound in human skin. Much like it was the last game. You can see the freckles. Yeah. Found within are dark incantations and evil rites. The rhubarb stew recipe on the final page sounds particularly malicious. Ugh. Whoop. Well, now we've done cocked it up. Oh! Here! What are you doing to my... Oh no! The book! You can barely see your face! Oh geez! Oh boy! Okay, well, should have expected this. Thank you. He's not even trying. Well, I mean, you know, trying. There's only so much you can do when, you know, being attacked by these. Oh, jeez, ow. Okay. Ah, uh, you know, I've been doing it for a while. No, not at all. Okay, time to fucking get rid of these fucks. Trying. Ow. Okay, well. Okay, well, time for one of these. And time to pop that. Time to beat these fucks up. There we go. A fracas, eh? No, I wouldn't really term it a fracas. More of a hullabaloo. Why am I splitting hairs? It's crazy. Either way, it's crazy shenanigans. Well, I mean... I'm trying... Yeah, I'm good at that. There we go. Oh, joy. Had to be one of you, didn't it? Okay. Oh, geez. Oh, great. They're all really strong ones. Okay. This might be a problem. Okay. Ow, fuck you. 
gonna slow time a bit. There we go. Eh, summon some creatures now. Why not? Scarabs? Really? Scarabs? Alright, I guess. Well, I was right. Target the big guy, and that was what you needed to do. Get rid of the rest of them. Well, I haven't seen that kind of fighting since that hero rescued my son so many years ago. Twice. Well, I'm the son of that hero, so... With your skills, it will be safer with you than in my grave. Fair enough. It's a bit uncomfortable, frankly. Well, Good to know. I suppose I'll get back in then. If you see my sons, tell them they'd better be back here by supper if they know what's good for them. Does time really matter too much when you're dead? I guess to her, maybe. Oh, treasure. What is this treasure? Pick up. Oh! On a small farm in a backwater county has made you restless. Who knows what flight of fancy or idle daydream first sparked your desire for adventure? Oh, a select your own endeavor point. The flames of wonderlust could not be extinguished, not even by the water of looking at things in more realistic terms, and perhaps considering a career in excavation. <laughs> your parents tried to reason with you, but the protests of the old ring hollow in the ears of a strong-willed young farm boy or girl like you. Nice addendum. And so now you stand at a crossroads. It's a nice one, with newly painted signs and a bench. <laughs> if you want to head east towards the ominous ruin, turn to page two. Two. To okay. go west towards the ancient forest, turn to page four. To head north towards the snow-covered mountains, turn to page one five six. If you want to go south, okay. Which is back home. Read this page again. All right. So the ruin doesn't go very far, maybe. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, usually there'd be several more pages between the uh, page leading to something good or bad. I don't know. I, I have not read one of those in forever, so I barely remember how they operated. All I remember is that any way I usually picked, I always end up dying. <laughs> That's all I remember. <sighs> Anywho. Let us go back to Sam and Max to let them commit their atrocities once again. What? Oh! Dick spot I missed? My way past, I guess. Okay. What do we got? Damn, I look good. Ooh, 300 gold. Nice. I could probably teleport Welcome back to them. To the saint. Might as well. Be faster that way. Fast travel to... Yep. There we go. Gonna drink some of my coffee now, hopefully. Still too hot. Still too hot. Just enough to drink a sip, but still too hot overall. Alright. Oh, the wife wants me back. Okay. Well. In a moment, dear. Alright. So. As it stands right now. Gonna give this what back. What should we do? Be bold. We'll just open to a random page and do whatever it says. Huh. What if the page we open to is just the continuation of the previous page? All right, if that happens, we'll flip back until we find the beginning of the section, but we'll do it boldly. <laughs> All right, fair enough, I guess. Did you find the book in Mum's grave? Which was early, and which we drove her to? At least you're willing to admit that. Uh, yeah, I found it. I'm not entirely sure if I should be giving you this, but... We've got it! Now, let's see what's in here. Ghost Pantry, 
Must be where the snacks are kept. Mm -hmm. Ghost pants. That sounds interesting. Really? Yeah, maybe a bit too interesting, at least to start with. Uh, what else? Too Ghost interesting? Party. Brilliant. Right. Let's have that then. Now then. <clears throat> Necrus Rhysius Cordroy. Cordroy. Oh! Huh! Look at that! They're all dancing! Oh boy. You have helped the deceased duo obtain the Normanomicon. Possibly not one of your better judgment calls. If I may say so, sir, you have succeeded most admirably in gaining a large measure of popular support among the locals. I believe this would be a good time to return to that rather dreary hey, home that your new rebel Thank acquaintances you. like to call home. Okay, fair enough. Well, I mean, looks like they're gonna go and enjoy the themselves. This party I've ever been to, although you could count the parties I've been to on one hand, and that hand would have four of its fingers cut off. So, what did you die of then, love? Um, <laughs> that's a hell of a pickup line. So what did you die of then? All right. Okay. Well, I mean, there are ghosts, I guess. Big spot. Okay. Where, doggo? You, you have appeared to have gotten stuck. Point me into the direction. All right. Yeah, because they're dead. Women's magic bracers. Hmm. All right. Dampy. His heart stopped pounding. That kind of is how it works to die. Anyway. Uh, let us... Captain Arkwright, all his training and skill, what, I, I missed a good portion of that. Screw it. I didn't even realize it was there until it was, uh, too late. So, um, yeah, well, this was remarkably less evil compared to the last two episodes that I've done, but, uh, we still have another, uh, interaction with that one guy to do after going to the evil sanctum which if I recall correctly is this way maybe I do not recall yes oh over here oh that was a noise I apologize <laughs> Uh, my body decided to protest against me. I guess that's what that was. All right, 500 gold. Nice. Whoop, sunset house. Whoa, that was a hell of a spin animation. Whoop, okay. I can't get it to repeat again. Oh man, but that was funny. His leg was still out just enough to make it just like a spin kick. It was something else. Oh, man. I can't make it do it again. Probably won't be able to make it do it again for a long, long time. Oh, well. Thank you, game, for telling me how much of a loser I am. <sighs> okay. Well, if anything, it's how much of a loser that guy is. <laughs> Anywho. Well, some growling. Some growling from my doggo. Which is not a good sign. It means evil is afoot. Oh, speaking of evil. There's the thing I needed to go through. The Dark Sanctum. Go back to the Dark Sanctum and then we find out what he discovered. Alrighty, but... We're gonna have to do that. Have you checked the sanctuary shop recently? I believe there are new items. 
eventually, Jasper. We're going to have to do that in the next episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games. And, well, we're moving right along. And uh, trying not to do as many evil things as we were before. We just gave evil guy a bunch of money. And then... Grave robbed a mother who's trying to keep her sons from using a evil book that they keep wanting to use for fun, I guess, for you.